badasses of history. The man you can see behind me here is James Lafayette, but he wasn't originally called James Lafayette. At first, he was only James Armistead, a slave who was owned by William Armistead, who was a planter in Virginia. During the American Revolution, James received permission from his master to enlist with the French allies who were helping the American. Serving directly under the Marquis de Lafayette, he was made into a spy and sent to act as a runaway slave who escaped to join the British. There, because of his status as a runaway slave, along with the fact that he had intimate knowledge of Virginia, made him an immediate asset the British wanted. So they had no idea that he was in fact a double agent. Over the years, he would be one of the most valuable resources that the Americans would have to keep tabs on British movements in America. His actions directly led to the siege and victory at Yorktown, paving the way for American independence. Now that being said, after the war, he was actually not given his freedom because he was enlisted as a spy, not a soldier. Which his master tried to use to keep him. But thanks to the personal intervention of the Marquis de Lafayette, James was given his freedom and added Lafayette to his name to honor him.